Good morning. Uh, I am at a lake uh, pretty close to my house and today I'm going to be showing you how to do interval shooting. Uh, I personally am using a Nikon D4 and so I'm going to get this thing set up. So interval shooting, first of all, if you don't know, is just a, a timer that you can set on your camera to take multiple frames uh, or maybe multiple shots of the same frame uh, in order to either stack them. Um, it's a similar situation to like bracketing, but instead of getting different exposures, you're, you're essentially being able to do uh, a simulated like um, extended exposure shot during the day. So uh, I'm gonna get 50 shots of a scene, you know, we'll, we'll figure out how I'm gonna set it up, but 50 shots of this scene. And, um, and then after I run you through the menu options uh, and show you how to set that up, uh, I'll then do a screen recording of me actually doing the edit on Photoshop and show you how to do that as well. And so, uh, yeah, let's get to it. So we will go to the menu, click the menu button, scroll down to interval timing, which is I was already on. And then it's, it's just going to give you a prompt. Uh, so now is when I want to start it. Scroll over. It's going to tell you, uh, it's going to give you the option to set your timer for your intervals uh, between your shots. So I've got mine set at five seconds. Scroll over again, and it'll ask you how many shots you want versus how many times do you want it to do that group of shots. So I'm only going to do 50 shots. And then scroll over and it says off. You don't want that. You want to scroll up and you want to hit on and then hit OK. Timer activated. So I've already done these shots. And this is where we are here with those. So it just kind of scrolls through them for you so you can see what's going on. All right. Now I am going to uh, show you guys how to edit these in Photoshop. Okay, so we're going to open up Photoshop, go to File, and then down to Scripts, and Load Files into Stack. All right, I am going to do this a little bit slower than most just because uh, it drives me insane when people just fly through the steps. So Load Files into Stack. Always make sure when you're doing this, uh, you create the smart object, all right? because that's going to make this much, much easier for you once you get in, uh, get the photos uploaded. So browse, I've already, uh, you know, found the file that's got all my photos in it. So I think uh, I did 50 photos, which I've learned since doing that. This was my very first attempt at, at, at doing this. And since, <laughs> since then learned that 50 photos at five seconds apart was entirely too many. Um, so... I'm only going to like select maybe half of these roughly um, and then I will open them again make sure create smart object after loading uh, and then hit OK. So what this is going to do is upload all the pictures and come down here and look and you will notice in your layers section um, it's going to compress these straight down into a smart object just like that. Okay. Then you will go up here to layer, come down to smart objects, stack mode. You're going to want to select mean. The rest of these, I mean, you, you can play around with them, but they do some pretty crazy stuff. So select mean, and this should be pretty quick. There we go. So that turned out pretty smooth. Again, I took 50 photos at five seconds apart, which I later learned was uh, a bit much. This is my very first time doing this. I think it turned out pretty cool for uh, the first time, so I'm, I'm happy with it. But if you notice, there's kind of some spacing. You can obviously look and tell um, there's like a pattern of, of spacing on the clouds uh, layered together there. So what that is, is because this was a daytime photo which is obviously the interval shooting is typically when you do that um, because it was daytime I and the wind was kind of moving those clouds pretty fast I did not need to space the photos apart five seconds I probably should have shot for more like two or three seconds um, but I would just you know mess around with it some because you're not gonna know exactly how it's gonna turn out until you really get out in the field and actually you know put this to the test and and really kind of mess around with it yourself so anyway i hope these steps were really helpful for you if they were please uh this is a new channel and i am 
you know, hoping to, to be able to connect with a bunch of you guys. So uh, like and subscribe and come back and see me next time. And we'll see you soon. Thank you.